With console commands, I removed the entire ocean. I created tsunamis. I gave Kev a haircut. I... Oh my god, Virginia, behave yourself! I brought the space city to the island, and I didn't figure out any of this myself. Hello friends, it's me. And today we're stealing somebody else's content. On a more serious note, I want to thank Davo for giving me permission to make this. I didn't just snipe it, if you know what I mean. He deserves all the credit for these commands, so make sure to go check out his channel. The dude's a genius. I'll leave a link in the description. The first command is toggle go crest ocean, and make sure to use the exact capitalization in all of these. Bro be removing the entire ocean. As you can see, this command only removes the visual aspect, and we can still swim around and can drown. To fix this, we need to remove the physics of the water, and that command is toggle go water level sensor. And by the way, for all these toggle commands, if you enter it again, instead of removing said object, it'll re-enable it. Now that that's disabled, we can walk freely on the ocean floor and you won't drown. So you can build, hang out with the fish, see how wonky their AI is. Now this is one of the coolest parts about these commands put together. I'm going to build something simple real quick, and then use toggle go crest ocean to re-enable it. And I want to point out that logs for some reason still register it being there. So if you drop them, they'll still float. So we've been able to build in the ocean and have it re-enabled, but now, going in reverse from before, the water level sensor is still off. So if I jump off of this, the game isn't going to register that it's physically there, and it's actually really dark. But here's a whole other command. Toggle go ocean mask will clean it up so you can see, even with the ocean toggled on. And now, if I toggle the water level sensor back on, we'll be able to swim and the drowning mechanic comes back. Now it's time to make tsunamis. The command to do this is duplicate object crest ocean followed by a number. The number is how many times it's duped. I need to warn you that this is extremely taxing on your PC the higher the numbers go. So start low. I started with five. And honestly, the lower numbers look more realistic. They actually look quite good. However, it is a video game. So I want more. Jesus Christ, look at this. I need to run for the hills. And more! More! This is out of control. I hope you guys didn't get too excited like I did in the previous segment. That's a real good way to blow up your PC. Anyway, continuing with the duplicate object command. The first step to spawn the space city into the game is duplicate object space scene. And you'll notice nothing happens. Don't worry. We need to play the duplicated cutscene using the command enable go space scene dupe 0000. Now you see that there's a bunch of stars, planets, weird fog that are visible, and the scene is actually playing out underneath the mountains. We can travel to the cutscene and explore it as well as make it permanent. I'll show you two different methods on how to do that in a second. When you hear these noises, if you're standing in certain spots, you can actually see the city scene despawning. But in this patch, the night sky doesn't go with it. It used to. Now what I love about this, not only does it look amazing, but also solves a problem a lot of people complain about, including myself, not being able to see a damn thing at night. When it gets dark in this game, if you turn your monitor off, it's pretty much the same experience. You'll notice from these shots, N Knight put quite a bit of effort into all this, and it almost looks like it was intended to be in the game because the night sky actually surrounds the map in a circle. If they took this out to make it less visible at night, that's a shame. So here's the first method of getting to this scene, and I'm gonna be an absolute cheater. I use the command go to demon boss, which is the final boss. The speedrunners back in the day were cute with their little sticks. This is how you beat the game in two seconds. Continuing with abusing console commands, we'll get rid of this dude and his buddies. Now we'll follow Timmy through the tunnel like we normally would, but stop at the last place where you need to shimmy through. Repeating the process from before, duplicate object, spacing, and then enabling the spacing. Instead of taking the character to the golden room, use free camera, which is free camera on if you don't know. And voila! You can now explore the scene freely. It sounds like it's overdone, but if you take the character through the last part, it locks your keyboard so you can't use commands. Now if you want to watch the scene or explore it during the day, which is a little bit buggy, uh, turn free camera on while it's playing, and toggle the crest ocean off like we did earlier. And then travel underneath the mountains, and you'll notice that the scene is playing and is also all stretched out, moving, and, well, weird. And also, this is what I meant before with the city despawning. To keep it there permanently, use the command enable go space city. This also works for the previous method. 
Uh, very quickly, because I know I'm going to get asked in the comments for commands I've used in this video. The first command for NPCs is AI pause. This freezes every NPC and lets you get really cool shots. To turn the AI back on, just turn the pause off. Now I'll add our buddy from before and freeze him as well. The command I used before that one shots everything in the game is kill radius followed by a number in meters. Now if I put in a small number, it'll kill him, but you'll notice it won't kill the deer. If I put a bigger radius in, it'll kill them as well as uh, this bird here. I'm glad I got that shot, that was lucky. And the last one, real quick, AI disable is a command that people usually get confused with. This removes every NPC, including enemies as well as wildlife. Pretty much puts the game into peaceful mode. To add Kelvin, the command is actually add character Robbie, just in case you didn't know. And now that he's here, let's mess around with him. The first command is toggle go Robbie hair, which will give him a haircut like I said in the beginning of the video. Toggling it on again returns it to normal. Toggle go Robbie's eyes is quite creepy. It makes him look like a, like a demon. The head one's funny too, because it used to be a glitch in free cam mode, if you didn't know. We can also give him a fresh shave. Nice. If you give him something to wear, like in this case pajamas, and toggle it off, it makes his body invisible. Uh, this command does something a little different for Virginia. What do you think, Kelvin? You want to see what it does to her? Yeah! Add Virginia instead of add character followed by a name, it's just add Virginia. For us to be able to give her an item, she needs to like us, and that command is uh, Virginia Sentiment. I'm just going to max it out so I can give her a suit to wear. Get up! I'm trying to make a video! <laughs> just like Kelvin, we can mess with her hair. This command is a little more complex, though. Make sure the grammar is exactly the same. If I get a comment that it doesn't work, it's because the grammar is wrong. And the same command turns it back on, just like everything else. Now the best for last, again, make sure that you type this exactly how I did. I can't show this on YouTube for obvious reasons, I'll let you check it out for yourself. But anyway, that's all for today, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button in the FALSE! And make sure you turn on notifications. Click! Click! And definitely make sure to check out Davo's channel, I'll leave a link below. I'm telling you, he really deserves some more love. The guy is absolutely insane with console commands, and has also been a long time modder in other games, and now this game. And I really want to thank him again for letting me make this video. I had way too much fun with it. And subscribe to the Rip Pack. Whoa. I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.